I can run a train! Hey YouTube, uh, Rick back again with just another update. I know this is going really fast. Um, just wanted to show you some things I got done and I had a couple questions from my last video that people saw and wanted to know what they were. So I figured I'll show you that too. Uh, but here's the easiest, fastest update. I've got my loop uh, all wired up and uh, I got a train running on it. I can only go around the loop and back again, but uh, let me show you real quick. Here is my uh, CSX down there. Uh, I've actually got a, uh, a cleaning car uh, attached to it, so it's it's cleaning up the track. I know it's still a mess around here, and I'll get to that as soon as uh, as soon as I can. But right now, this was the exciting part. So, a um, couple a uh, couple questions, and I wanted to show you uh, some things that uh, that I've got going on. Um, first of all, let me go under the layout and I'll show you I know I showed you one thing but I'll show I'll show you again um, uh, I've got eight tortoises up here in that uh, little switching junction that you saw um, again they're controlled by an NCE switch 8 so all of those plug in to there and then I can address them from there um, and then select them through my NCE system and switch them right from the uh, cab. Um, what I did was a couple of these switches are actually uh, tied together. Um, um, I can't think of um, the word. It's, it's not coming to me at the moment. Um, but it, it it's a crossover. I had to look it up. <laughs> That's what it is. Don't ask me why. I couldn't think of it, but I couldn't. So there's a couple of crossovers up here where I just tied the tortoises together and made it one uh, address because there would be no reason why I would flip the switch and not flip that switch. So uh, technically there's 10 tortoises, but really there's only five addresses. Um, so that was one thing. Uh, someone had a question about um, these incandescent light bulbs. Um, so I actually got this. I can't take credit for this. I got this from Ron Marsh uh, of Ron's Trains and Things. And uh, what I did is I fed my main line into a, um, a block, um, terminal block here. And then from the terminal block, I have uh, one set of wires going to uh, the outside or uh, grounded section of the uh, light. And then uh, the center section here goes back into the block. And then from the other side of the block, that will go to um, one of my main lines. On, on the, my top section, I've got three main lines. Uh, so if I have a short or something falls on the track um, or a uh, train derails... Uh, what will happen is for that track and that track only in that section, um, that light, that incandescent light will light up. What it will tell me is, one, I have a short, and two, in which section uh, the short is in. Because for my layout, when I did my bench work, uh, even though it's a permanent layout, it, it's built in modules in case I ever have to move. So, uh, for example... This section here is one section. Uh, this section here is another. Here's a third. And then that whole back section is a fourth. Uh, this whole section here will be a fifth. And then over here will be a sixth. And then, of course, I've got my helix underneath, which would be seven. Uh, oh, and then if you, if you uh, count the, uh, the, the yard, that has its own as well. So there's four under there. So that's a total of 11 sections, if I did my math right. Um, so that was a question that someone had. I can't remember who uh, who posted it in my comments, but they were wondering what those incandescent bulbs were. Um, another thing I did was um, the... Oh, let me... You know what? It might be easier if I just showed you 
my layout. Um, the last update that I did, uh, I told a lie, um, not intentionally. Um, I said that I don't have a plan, and I actually do. Um, and I have to give credit to someone else. Uh, there is a, a guy that I work with, a very good friend of mine, his name's John, um, who um, joined me when I uh, started going back into trains uh, three or four years ago. And um, he got really interested uh, with it with me. And um, we've been kind of doing this uh, together. So I showed him the uh, Atlas SCARM program and um, taught him a little bit of how to make a track plan. And it turned out that uh, he was better at it than I was. So he actually made my layout for the top. So this is kind of what it will look like. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see it because the camera's turned around right now. But there's going to be three main lines. You can see blue, red, and green. And then there is a section there in the middle that's actually yellow. That's a reversing loop. So if a train comes around, it can go back into that gray section there, which is the helix. Uh, but primarily, trains will just go around in a loop. Uh, there's actually two figure eights and a loop. Um, so this section here is what I completed tonight from here uh, all the way down to the middle of here um, is uh, my reversing loop. And I have that uh, controlled by a Digitrax AR1. Um, so two lines come down off of the track feeders and go into there, and then two lines go into the bus. It's that simple. You don't have to worry about polarity because polarity always changes. Um, so no worries there. Uh, what's next? Uh, my next thing that I want to do is get uh, my helix connected uh, again from here has to come over into that switch there. Once I get that done, I can actually do a loop, come back around the other side and go down into my yard. And then finally, I'll be able to do a continuous uh, train run. Uh, right now, again, all I can do is play in my yard. And then uh, up here on the top deck, which I just completed, uh, I can run a train from there. Uh, all the way around to here. So that's the only bit of train that I have running. Um, pretty cool so far. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Um, is there anything else that I can show you? Oh, I want you to check this out. <clears throat> so I was watching um, Arthur Houston. Um, He's got an NCE uh, huge, huge layout, and he's done some tutorials with NCE, a lot of JMRI uh, stuff. Uh, one of the things he touched on was the NCE mini panel, um, which is basically used to um, make button panels that will throw switches, uh, and it can also do other things. It can control uh, some block detection, uh, do some automation. Um, it's got a bunch of commands that this little thing um, uh, can do. So what I did with it is I built this little panel that controls the ladder in my yard. Um, and anytime I throw a switch, right now they're all red because they're all, actually all my tracks are diverted. Um, but if I throw any individual track, um, it will line up the previous uh, tracks before it and go to that individual. It'll divert the train to that track. Uh, if I need to go straight through, I've got a button down the end here that will line everything up. So again, if uh, depending on what track I wanted to go to, if I divert all the tracks, I can then hit a button and all the whole ladder uh, will change and everything will be diverted to come in and go around the loop and come back around this side and then I would have to line that up so that the train can go back out and up through my helix. Um, 
that panel was actually kind of cool. Uh, I've got it wired up in the back. I, I just used Cat5 cable. Um, I'm an IT guy by trade, so I've got these cables laying around uh, all over the place. Uh, but the buttons were pretty simple to put together. Uh, the LEDs are dual uh, red and green, as you saw. So everything's kind of wired up there. And then um, underneath the layout, sorry, I don't have any lights down here. Ugh. Underneath of here, that's the mini panel there, uh, which actually just has those wires going into it. And then I have a DC, a DC bus that runs under here also, which controls um, my switches and um, those LEDs. Uh, right now, that's the only thing that's running on it. Um, so I think that's it. I think that's all the cool things that I have plugged in. Um, I'm glad I got to show you the whole layout. Um, I'm, I'm really I'm motivated more now to show you guys progress. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of like uh, entitled to. Uh, not really. I'm having fun. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm learning as I go, watching you guys in the channels, watching your channels, um, getting uh, information from uh, all the live chats. Um, I just figured out my block detection problem. I got to figure that out. Um, uh, my only issue right now that I'm having which I've been in talks with uh, uh, one of the engineers over at NCE, uh, I'm having some issues with their circuit breakers. Uh, so I'm trying to work through that. Um, my lower deck was actually built on NCE circuit breakers. The top deck is using those light bulbs. So there's no circuit breaker up there other than those light bulbs, which consume the amperage when there's a short. So Technically, it is a surge protector, I guess, uh, or a circuit breaker, kind of. Um, but on my lower deck in my yard, if I have a short, it goes back to the surge protector um, or the, the yeah circuit breaker. Uh, but right now, those breakers aren't working, uh, and I'm not sure why. And uh, right now, all it's doing is it's shutting off my entire system rather than just shutting off the breaker. So, like I said, I'm working with NCE. Hopefully, we can get that fixed shortly and um, get that out of the way. Uh, I don't want to hold you guys up too much. I appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button. And uh, as soon as I have another update, I will uh, hit you guys up. I'm hoping uh, with Thanksgiving holiday coming up, uh, there's some free time off of work. Maybe I can get some more done. Um, but until next time, guys, have a happy Thanksgiving. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More to come. I got a train running. See ya.